Hello again. Thought I'd change up the visuals. Hmm. I hope no one hits me. Anyways. Um, today's scripture we'll be talking about is in the book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 62. Try not to turn. I'm going to try to turn, not wreck. Okay. And Jesus said unto him, No man have it. Oh no. Car crashing. Okay. No man have it put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Drive on the correct side of the road. We're not British. Okay, there we go. Uh, and we parked somewhere to be a different car. Um, but no man looking backwards is fit for the kingdom of God. It's like, never just stop and look at the past glories to determine your current value. You can improve. You're not going to be like that crashed car over there. Look to the future, which is, I'm going to spawn another car. Nah. Yeah. Do this one. Here. Here. Try the horn. Let's make it louder. I hope that picked it up. I'll try to make it where you can hear my voice when I'm recording. Oh, come on. And. Can I turn around? Eh, kinda. Okay, please don't hit. No! Yeah! Miss me! Okay. But, don't beat yourself up over past mistakes. And don't look at the past miracles to determine your current relationship with God. What I think you should do is focus on the new miracles and walking in the gifts that Jesus gives you. That Jesus gives you and walking in His love. Today. Not just, well, I used to do that. Not that, um, I have cast out demons in your name and have healed the sick. Because it's a current relationship with Christ. It's not just like, ah, oh, I met you once, that's it. It's like, it's like a family member, a close friend. That's the relationship you should have with Christ. Um, but it talks about, later on in other scriptures, it's like, being a part of this adventure in the kingdom of God, it takes a lot of time, work, and dedication. I hope you have that. Oh no, let's see if I can make this turn. Oh. Well. Can I drive it? <laughs> let's see. Can I drive the ghost truck? Nope. Oh well. Um. <laughs> but yeah, don't beat yourself up. If you look in the context of it, again, this was in Luke chapter 9, verse 62. Basically right before Luke 10. I read out of a physical Bible. Let's see. Because he was telling someone to come join him on his adventure. And he's like, well, let me go bury my father. And Jesus said to him, let the death... This is um, 59, reading to the end of chapter... Ten, chapter, chapter 9, I can read. <laughs> Let me bury my father. Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid the Pharaoh which are at home at my house. Jesus said to him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. So it's like, don't let things distract you from things that are very important. Because this whole world is full of distractions. It's about scary. What is this one? Oh. Ooh, this is a pretty car. Um. Drive. There we go. I drive better than this in real life, I promise. But anyway. Um. Don't beat yourself up about past failures. And don't let things distract you from the things that are important in the kingdom of God. Because your life can be an awesome adventure if you let Jesus lead you. But yeah, I wonder if you have any comments, leave in the comment section. If you like this kind of videos, again, please leave a comment. And if you have any other ideas um, for a background, that would also be appreciated. I think this car might be a bit too loud. But there, now I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's just 
drove off. There it goes. Anyway, <laughs> I think someone just took my car. <laughs> oh, well. If I just do this, now they're going to have to get another car because why don't you do that? It despawns the other one. But yeah. yeah. That's about it for this video. Hope you have a nice day. <laughs> Hope you laugh a little bit. God bless you, friends, and goodbye.